Well, many parents tell their kids to turn down that music, and for good reason. They usually do it by shaking their fist. <laughs> it literally could be deafening. WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now and uh, tell us about this. I don't know that I shake my fist. Yeah, you say so you're killing your hearing. Turn See, you just shook your I fist. Did. Maybe you I do shake my fist. <laughs> well, researchers reviewed 33 prior studies and say more than a billion people between the ages of 12 and 34, so young people, are at risk of hearing loss due to unsafe use of personal listening devices mm. such as headphones and earbuds. Now, going to loud concerts is also a big threat. Exposure to loud sounds can disrupt the sensory cells in the ear, which over time can become permanently damaged. The CDC recommends noise levels below 80, 85 decibels, but many people choose volumes as high as 105 on their devices, wow. and concert venues may reach up to 112 decibels. So you mm. want some tips on how to protect your hearing? If the music actually causes your ears to ring, it is way too loud. You want to stand away from loudspeakers if you can, if you're at an event, and try to use devices that reduce background noise so you can safely listen to music yeah. without having to drown out the racket around you. That last one is a good point because the little buds in your ear, you have to really turn them up, but those big cans, you can actually just hear the music. That's right. Right? Well, on the flip side, could earbuds actually improve hearing for some people? That's right. So we were talking about that sort of noise cancellation feature. Yeah. So listen to this. Millions of people could benefit from hearing aids, but they often don't because they're expensive or they carry a stigma. But researchers in Taiwan compared Apple AirPods to traditional hearing aids in 21 volunteers with mild to moderate hearing loss. The AirPods were linked to Apple smartphones with an app called Live Listen, which acts like a microphone. And they found that the AirPods Pro model, which has that noise cancellation feature, performed as well as premium hearing aids in certain environments. And so they hope that this is going to encourage more companies to include features in their smartphone technology that will help people with hearing loss. But I think I'm going to tell some relatives to check this out. That's super interesting because if there is that stigma of not wanting to have the hearing aid, maybe they have the ear pod button and it looks you know a little cool. cooler to them right cool, exactly really good information today doctor thank you so much